This is probably the best section of this whole assignment. If you've never created a pivot table in the past, this is going to introduce you to being able to navigate pivot tables and make sure you learn this forever because this is how most analytics software actually works. So let's start with 7.1, the number of transactions, the total operating margin, which is 7.2, the smallest operating margin, 7.3, and the largest operating margin by each one of the regions. So again, we're going to create a pivot table to summarize the transaction information to understand how Veronica performed in each one of those regions. So uh, let's follow the videos. Thank you. All right, so let's start by selecting the data that we want to work with. In this case, is my entire sheet of transactions. And in Google Sheets, all of my data functions are mainly um, contained in the data menu on top. And I can just come to the pivot table option. By creating a pivot table, then I can have this name to region summary. According to the requirements, I need to make sure that every row is based on region. So let's go ahead and do this as a region. So by adding the region on my rows, it's going to summarize data by each one of those regions. The other thing that I need to make sure that I do is that I only display st stuff for the year 2018. So let's go ahead and add that filter based on the date. Um, I can just uh, let's go ahead and filter by condition. Date is, uh, well, I like it between one date and the other. Let's see if this one works. 12, 31, 2018. And let's OK it. All right. Then let's go ahead and do the next requirement, which was to provide the total number of transactions for that year. So on my values, I want to display a count of customers, right? Because it's just going to count every transaction, 497. Let me just verify that my customer summary was the same. Yeah, it looks like I had 497 transactions in, in, in um, 2018. And it specifically says that I'm going to name this number of transactions. So let me grab that name and put it in there, um, number of transactions. I'll paint it or format it differently later on. The next thing is to provide you with the total profit margin. So let's go ahead and add another value that looks at the operating margin. And that's just the sum. And that is correct. So in, in total, we had a profit margin for everybody of 116. Let's go ahead and, and look at our customer summary. And it looks right. 116, 596, 60. The next transaction that I want is to provide the smallest profit margin for each one of those regions. So I'm going to have another column for profit margin or operating margin. Instead of having the sum, I'm looking for the minimum. So this was the smallest profit margin for each one. And then I'm going to have another one that is based on operating margin, but it's looking at the largest profit margin. So instead of the sum, the min, now I'm going to have the max. And that's it. So let's go ahead and name these total profit margin. The next one's going to be smallest profit margin. And this is going to be my largest profit margin. This is something that Google Sheets just created the ability to change the labels. And this is within the last couple of months. In the past, it would be, it would force you not to be able to change that. I'm going to change the way uh, this is being displayed. I'm going to, I want this to be wrapped so that I don't have to uh, cut the cells or the titles. And I'm going to also center the titles. I want to make sure that these are in by default, they should follow the same type of formatting that the underlying data has. So I will do the same thing here. And all of these should be dollar signs as well. All right, so I have the number of transactions. Let's make sure this is properly, the case is proper. Um, do I want this to be smaller? So just pretend this was going to a client of yours. How would you make it look? This looks a little dull. So let's see if I can format it 
with alternating colors and uh, that's too that's too much um uh, that doesn't look bad at all or you may think it does let me make this a white and let me bold these so that looks a little better so this is my region summary that lets me know which region has the largest profit margin or the lowest i should have gotten the average etc but in general i can see that the east region is doing uh, the least with the least amount of transactions the least prof uh, profit margin overall and i have the west uh, with the most profit margin even though it had the less number the least number not not the most number of transactions